page looks like. So now we only have one more page to go, which is the contact page. So let's go to our demo page and see what the contact page is going to look like. So we're just going to have a simple title, some text here, and then this form field where people can type in their name, email and the message. So the first thing we want to do in order for us to create this form field is we need to install two plugins. So let's go to our dashboard and then head over to plugins. And then the first plugin we need, we already have installed, which is the WP Forms Lite plugin. So we don't need to install that anymore. So let's install the second one. So let's click on add new here on the top. And then we're going to type in the search bar QI add-ons. And we're going to look for a plugin like this, this QI add-ons for Elementor. We want to install this install now and then we want to activate it activate and this plugin is going to enable us to have some more styling options when it comes to our form fields with WP forms. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go to we're just going to do no thanks here. And then let's go to QI add ons for Elementor and click on widgets. And then here we can basically deactivate the widgets for all of the options except for forms. So deactivated for business, creative, um, showcase, SEO, infographics. And then for form style, we're going to leave this turned on and we're going to turn it off for everything else. And now because we have installed the WP forms plugin, we should now be able to see this menu item here, WP forms. So let's click on it. And then we're going to click on add new to create a new form. Then here we're going to use a simple template. So let's click on simple contact form and click use template. And then here we're going to do some changes to this simple contact form. So let's click on the first field here. And then for the format, I'm going to change this to simple. So we only ask for one name, then I'm going to go to advanced. And I'm going to just hide the label here. So I'm going to tick this option and then the name text will be uh, deleted. And then for the placeholder content, I will just type in your name so people can see what they need to type in here. Then let's go to the second field the email field uh, here again, I'm going to go to advanced, go to hide label. And then for the placeholder text, let's type in your email. And then for the message, I'm gonna change this to advanced and go to field size, I'm going to do a large placeholder text, I'm going to do your message. And then we're going to hide the label as well to just keep things very simple and clean. And then actually, I'm going to make the message required as well. So let's go back to general and then tick the required option. So people actually need to type something in here. So that's going to be our form. So let's click on save and then close the window. And now we can see we have a new form which is called simple contact form. So now we have everything we need to create our contact page. So let's head over to pages, then click add new, and we're going to name the page contact. And then here for content layout, we're going to do this 100% full width, we're going to disable the paddings. And then for title, we're going to disable the page title, and then hit publish and confirm. And now let's click on edit with Elementor, then let's add a new section. And let's do a one column section, then we're going to need a header. So I'm going to go to the elements here and drag in a heading. So I'm going to just going to change this to contact or just contact us or something like that. Go to style and go to typography, then I'm going to change the size of the title to 36 pixels, make the weight a 700. And then we're also going to add some text. So let's go to the elements again at the text editor just below. And then here, I just want to say that they can also send an email. So just like here on the example page, it's going to copy this text here and just paste that in here. And I think the size is actually fine. So I'm going to leave it at that. And now we can actually drag in the form we have created before. So let's go back to the elements here. And then we are going to type in WP forms. And then we have two options. Now because we have installed the QI add ons, we're going to have this option also, which gives us more design options. So we want to use this one this is this red one. So I'm going to just drag this into the canvas, and then you can see this is the form we have created before. And we can now go to style over here. And then we can make some changes. 
So eventually I want to have this form look like this form on the demo page. So we have this green button. We have this shadow here around the form. So that's what we're going to do. So let's go back here and then under style, let's first go to the button style and then we're going to scroll down and go to button um, background color. So here let's check out the default colors and I'm going to change it to my accent color for this website. And then I also want to have the, um, the width of the button go through the entire uh, page. So for the button full width option, I'm going to change this from no to yes. And just like that, we have this larger button. Then let's go to spacing style. And then under input padding, we're going to add 15 pixels to all the sides. And then let's go to the advanced menu here. And then we're going to open up the border menu here. And we're going to click on this pen icon next to box shadow to activate the box shadow. Then let's go to layout and add some padding to the inside of this form. So let's unlink these values. Then we're going to do one here. We're going to do 30 for the right side, for the left side, also 30. And then for the bottom, we're going to do, let's say 20 or let's say 18. Then what I forgot to add are the rounded corners. So let's go back to border. And then for border radius, we're just going to add 30 here. And now it pretty much looks the same as here on the example page. Now, the only thing we need to do is add some margin to the top and the bottom of uh, this uh, section. So it's not as close to the header and the footer. So let's click on the section, go to advanced. Then I'm going to unlink the margin values. And for the top, I'm going to add 30 pixels. And for the bottom, I'm going to add 100 pixels and click on update. Now, just for you to understand how this contact page works, it's very simple. So I'm going to do a quick demonstration. So let's open up this new page by clicking on this eye icon at the bottom left. And then let's just type in something random. So I'm going to type in my name, a random email example at gmail.com and then type in just a message. Hello. And then when we click on submit, we should be getting a message saying thanks for contacting us. We will be in touch shortly. And now what happens is that you, the owner of this website, uh, will get an email to your inbox of the email uh, account you have used for WordPress. Uh, and you're going to see this email. So it's saying new entry, simple contact form. And then when you click on the email, you can see the name, the email, and then also the message we have just typed in. When you want to get in contact with, with this person that has uh, filled in the contact form, you can just click on reply and then it will already put in the email they have given you as the recipient. And then you can just type in whatever or just re respond to them and send them an email and then just keep in contact uh, 